Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today I wanted to show you something really really cool and this is coming from our animated series The Adventures of Nkosa and Nancha. This is one of my favorite projects. But anyway, today I was gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, not was, I'm gonna show you how I animate my characters and then when I'm ready to render I can have two options, right? I can render inside of uh, iClone, I can render instead of the Unreal Engine, but then there's a third option of where I can actually render inside of Blender. Now, all of you know that Blender is free. Blender is relatively powerful, guys. I mean, there are so many cool features in here for such a free product. It's incredible. But anyway, so Reallusion has done something amazing. Um, for me, I mean, I've always wanted to take my characters and I was trying to render them as fast as I could, right? And I was able to, I've been able to uh, create these episodes using the Unreal Engine. And this has been amazing. But then there are some new things that I've been seeing inside of Blender that I really wanted to take advantage of, right? So Reallusion has come up with a, a pipeline, which is for, it's called uh, the auto setup for Blender. And this enables you to take characters from character creator. Well, this is started off as in character creator right here. This is the character. This is where you assemble the model and you have all these other parts of the model. And when you're ready, you can save it as an avatar, which I saved it in here. And then I'm able to then take it to iClone right here. This is the iClone scene that you're looking at. Light it, add animation to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add this animation. I just simply double click on it. Sorry. I make sure that it's selected click on the character and when to know that this character is selected over here you have the name double click on the motion plus file this is an animation that contains both the face and body animation of this song so i i put on my motion capture suit and then i was able to act out the different parts of it <laughs> i got some feedback from my wife of how like if you're a little girl playing like a little girl you have to you know stand a certain way so that was very helpful but here's the animation itself let's maximize this and bring up the timeline so you can actually see it and there's a little nancha dancing you can see the facial expressions the blinking the mouth moving and even here you can see the dynamics of this uh, frill dancing away so this is the cool thing about this pipeline is that you're able to take a character that you created from character creator right rigged and everything this set of is as a character in maya for the my custom character is a custom character for maya this is not a, a native character creator for model this was modeled inside of maya rigged using advanced skeleton rig right and then brought into character creator for i simply import the fbx file and then i'm able to start doing the facial profile and then also the character setup and the rigging instead of our character creator. And then when I'm ready, I save that as, let's go back to content, as an, an avatar. And you can have multiple avatars with different settings, right? This one, for example, has multiple clothing. This one has just one set of clothing because it's the easy, the simplest one that I want to keep using for a specific episode. So the idea again is to send it to Blender, right? But in order to do that, you have to go to your, it's called the Reallusion Hub. Go to the iClone tab over here. Make sure you have this installed. I'm using version 5.31 of the Reallusion Hub. And go click on the iClone tab over here. And then if you scroll down, you're going to find the Blender Auto Setup over here. If you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page, right? And this is where you're able to download the plugin itself here okay so this is the it's towards the bottom of the page and it's uh, it's called the cc blender auto setup click on that to download it so if you click on that it's going to take you to this forum and this is the religion forum and here you can see the different changes in the version so this was a uh, even though it says posted three years ago but this is constantly being updated so you can see 2.1.5 so if you click on the cc for icon version over here click on that and you can also click on the release version of it the blender auto setup add-on and this is so you need this one 
and in here go to drop down the like over on the code and then download the zip right go ahead and download the zip and i've already downloaded so you can see one over here if you right click on this show i'm using edge show in folder you see it over here so in blender you simply have to go to blender go to edit preferences go to add-ons and then install add-on and then go to your this is called uh it's i'm gonna see if i can browse to the folder it's gonna be in your user folder your username app data roaming blender foundation then find the blender build so if i click out and click on blender over here and click on 4.1 right so this is where you want to be you want to be in this folder to install so the scripts are the add-ons are right here so you can see i've already installed it but when you find it so if i go to downloads over here i can simply go copy the path paste it over here and then select it and then install add-on right and it's going to show down here where it installed it so it's going to be users your username for your machine uh, it shows you where it found the file and then it shows you where it's installed the file and C update roaming blender foundation blender four points integrated in the add-ons so when you're done simply uh doing the search here type in cc you will be able to see it and it's enabled right so that's the important part because if you're going to do the auto setup you need to be able to install this before you can run this now comes the fun part so i go to car uh, iclone i have my character i've added the animation right and this is uh at this point you can make changes to this character like if you don't like for example, how the face is looking right here. You can go to the animation tab, go to the face puppet over here. And because again, this is not a native character from CC4, you're gonna get a few uh, uh, like some warnings, but that's because if it's not finding a specific like profile here, it's gonna point that out. But because I've been able to read, rig this properly, now I can move the character, you know, use this to actually animate the character right so you can use the head the face turn all these things are in here you can go ahead and use that and then you can do preview and you can record it you can also go to face key over here use so this is the warning due to insufficient expression data of the target character slide of the face key and face puppet patterns may be partially disabled that's fine for my character so if I want to open the mouth a tiny bit, just click on the jaw over here and you can see how I'm able to do that. Just ever like that. So if I play back, the character now, the mouth is a little bit more open, right? And if I want the character to smile, I can actually go to modify over here. If she looks a little bit sad, if the song is a sad song, of course you want that. But if it's uh, just a, a happy song, I can then go to the first keyframe, put a smile, left smile and right smile and then when i play back now the character looks a little bit more happy <laughs> right so this is the amazing thing about character creator for and iclone pipeline being able to uh, just modify the facial animation the mock-up that we're able to create so the facial mock-up i used my iphone uh, 14 to capture the facial animation using the the live face app for, and also use the, this plugin called uh, Motion Live over here. And then I use the Perception Neuron Studio suit for the full body mock-up suit, right? I was able to do to do that. And then I play back. You can actually see the simulation being done because the simulation is also enabled up at the top. Okay. So when you're happy with this, we're going to then send this to Blender. Okay. So I'm going to click the character. And then up here, this is built into... Uh, I, this is iClone 8, let's see, 8, 8 point, I believe, let's go about, about iClone. So I'm using iClone 8.42. And in 8.42, this Go Blend, it's almost like, you know how you have GoZ? This is Go Blender. And it's going to be up at the top right here. So if you click on this, it's going to send whatever is selected in here. So I'll go ahead and click that. A script is going to pop up. It's going to launch a new session of blender and you gotta have just give it a, a few minutes 
well, depending on the speed of your machine, just give it give it a few seconds for it to be able to go through. And if you go back to a uh, clone over here, you can see the process is, is going. So it's 90%. So, and then a, need, a neat little window pops up that it's almost like a, a, a connection, a live connection that enables you to send a pause, send the avatar, do a live sequence, sync, sync the lights, sync the camera. So whatever you see in here can be then synced with a, a, the Blender, which is connected Blender 4.1.1. So I'm hoping that they if the Blender 4.2 version is also released and then I'll be able to do a video like that. But this is now ready, right? So if I go to Blender, let's go to this one. So you can see our character here. So if I disable this little box over here, there's the character that uh, turn off a few, few of these display items. Actually, you can just simply click on that to turn off the overlays. And the character is in Blender, guys right? Isn't that amazing? You can add a camera if you want, right? And then you'll be able to animate according to that. Just knock that out. But what's neat is the character, the animation is here. It looks like it's playing in slow motion, but we can always go back here and switch this to frame dropping. And now I'm able to play in real time. So the same animation that you saw in iClone over here is now available in Blender, right? And the facial animation is brought in. And right now it's using Eevee to display the character. So we can actually go over here and switch to a different render engine. So we're using Eevee. We can switch to Cycles. And then you're going to get a much different experience. Now this is like path tracing. My machine has a fast graphics card. So if you have one, you'll be able to enable like Denoiser, for example, so that you can get a much faster preview. But look at that. The character is inside of Blender with the facial animation, with the full body animation. You can add a camera in here, change the focal lens, and then when you're ready, just go render animation. But make sure before you render animation that you set up the resolution over here, set up the path where it's going to be sent. And I tend to render using a PNG with a 16 bit. And also, I turn off the compression because I want the best quality for this. And if you hover it, it'll give you a hint like zero. There's no compression with fast file proof and that maximum compression, which is lossless compression with some slow file output. I want to get the best render images out of it. And when you're ready, again, just go ahead and render animation. You should be able to put it in the same folder that you specified over here. So should your character, and this is something I encountered when I was uh, working on <laughs> this workflow, is that should your character look like the shadows are not showing, go to this icon right here, the object properties, scroll down to visibility and make sure the shadow is selected under real visibility. Because if it's off like that, it's gonna look like that. When it's on, it's gonna give you the nice ray traced uh, look of the character. So guys, that's how you're able to bring your character with the animation into Blender uh, from Character Creator. So the journey set off with uh, the character sets off in Character cre Creator over here. After you've assembled all the parts that you need for the character and then send to just simply, you can either send, export uh, the avatar or you can send it to iClone or you can save it, save it as an avatar over here and then go to iClone and then load it at the facial animation, body animation using a motion plus or you could just do the motion. And then when you're ready, click on go, but make sure that it, you installed the Blender add-on, this Blender auto setup. And then you're able to click on go Blender, you're able to sync it and you're able to send it over to Blender for your final rendering. So if you're struggling with rendering in iClone, you can use Blender or you can use the Unreal Engine or you can use iClone itself. Just uh, showing you the different ways that you could possibly render. But what's neat is being able to send your character directly from iClone to Blender and be able to set up lights in here. So all these lights that you see over here, if we bring back this, if you move them, you're gonna be able to change the lighting in this in the scene as well. So here you can actually see the light changing as you're adjusting it like that. 
And you're also able to bring environments in here so you can set your character in the proper space and then render. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I was just walking you through how to, if you have a custom character, even if you're not using a custom character, but using a character created using Character Creator, that you'll be able to send it to Blender for rendering and add all the goodness of Blender around it, the vegetation and you name it. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you again so much for joining me today. Thank you to all my subscribers and patrons. I truly, truly appreciate your support. And uh, man, I'm always encouraging you dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream, guys. May you continue to use these tools to bring your ideas to life. I'll continue to pray for you. Please stay safe. Much love to each and every one of you. Thank you for helping me to get over 335,000 subscribers. Stay blessed and bye for now.